Hello, this is SSJ Autobot, and this time I'm going to be reviewing Kiss Blair's Convoy, otherwise known as Alternator's Optimus Prime in the Uni United States. I decided to give this get this version just because I like the paint job, and I like the packaging on the on the Kiss Blair's version. Um, I did keep this one in box for quite a while. But then I decided to open it because I was kind of a, you know, alternators, uh, experimentation phase. So I just wanted to see what all the hype was. And I can honestly say that I wish I would have left them in a the box because I think this is, as not, as uh, not being such a big alternators fan to begin with, I wasn't really quite pleased with this figure. It's frustrating. Just all different kinds of problems frustrated me with this figure. But other than that, I love the truck mode. Because this is my uh, favorite type of truck. A uh, Dodge Ram. Even the right color, red. And uh, I do have the little girl that it comes with. But I probably threw it away. Uh, I don't think I did, maybe. Well... Besides one, I don't know where it is. Alright, I'm going to... Uh, it has... Wheels can turn. The doors can open. And the hood opens. And to reveal the engine, which becomes its gun later on. And... That opens. And you can see it says, Convoy. With the Autobot symbol right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to transform it as fast as possible. Just because I'm not sure how long this could take. Because he is kind of a frustrating figure to transform in. And probably his hands will pop off a couple of times. Because they always seem to do with me. There we go. That is probably one of the hardest things to do. Is separate the entire rear section like that now okay yeah as my like I said this is the only alternator like or biotech figure that I've ever opened up and played with. So this was definitely a new experience for me. And I don't know. Okay. It's not too I'm surprised I actually it went this smoothly for me so far because usually the uh, hands pop off both of them all the time. His feet can be rather difficult to get out sometimes. I guess the only reason why he's been so difficult with me in the past is because he likes the camera and he wants to be filmed. Oh, this and this goes up too. Didn't take as long as I figured it would, knowing how, knowing my history with him. And there's Kiss Blair's convoy in robot mode. Definitely not the most attractive alternator line figure. As far as robot mode goes with the alternators, I would say my favorite one would be Meister. Or just called Jazz in the U.S. Now his d gun does turn. I mean, his engine does turn into a gun. Very simple, just like that little pistol, and just goes in one of either of his hands. Now, as far as articulation goes, the, of course, the biggest problem with this figure is the legs. 
He his knees are almost to his waist. He has almost no upper thigh. That's about it right there. You get a better view from the side. Just that little piece there. And it's nearly impossible to pose him with his legs like any cool pose. You can only really make him look good by just standing straight up. I'm not sure how much the uh, KISS players version is going for these days because I haven't really looked for one in a while. I got this must have been back in September of 06 I think sounds right or maybe it was October September October one of those times I got them so it's been almost a year so I'm not sure about how rare this figure is now but if you really do intend on getting him I would recommend just keeping him in a box because I think he's very clumsy not well thought out and overall just a big disappointment but as a display piece and the packaging it's very nice so if you're a mint and seal box collector I'd say get them and this is SSJ Autobot out